This is all where uh, bus service runs from the light rail. And as you can see down here, uh, there is no bus service. And what we need to do is fill the gap in the map. Um, it can look any number of ways, except for how it looks right now, because we need to connect. <laughs> we need to connect the light rail um, to our communities. Uh, on the website, it says that in the suburbs, um, they only have to have 25 riders a day uh, at any given stop to get a shelter built. Um, but in our community, they need 40 riders per day to get a uh, to get a shelter built. This is unfair. It's nearly double um, what it is in the suburbs, which tells us that they see us as only being worth half of what the riders in the suburbs are worth. You don't have any issue with the southwest uh, line itself. With the line itself being built, no. But we think that if it's going to be built, then it needs to be built so that all the community can take advantage of it. All communities can take advantage of it. That's not part of the plan, no. Right now, it's not a part of the plan. Uh, we didn't just submit these requests. We submitted them a long time ago. We've been in conversation with the Met Council, uh, with the City Council. That's why they're here today, about meeting those demands, those needs of the community. There is no commitment to meeting them. There's a commitment to process. We're sick of process. Process means nothing. We want the commitment. We want the commitment in writing. That's what we're asking for here today. We believe in regional equity, but the conversation today about the demands that we've already submitted in writing and their response is inadequate. And uh, there's a map that shows that in North Minneapolis that there's a gap, that there is no planned um, bus connection on that map to the Green Line uh, in terms of bus service for people. Um, I am Verdell Brown. I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm a NOC leader. Um, I go to Irondale High School. Um, I have a part-time job at Juxtaposition Arts. Um, the thing is, I get back. I go back and forth um, to work, school, and home. And um, the problem is, it takes up like a week's worth of um, my check and pay and everything uh, for like like a month. It kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> uh, Met Council Chair Sue Hay gave a commitment to equity uh, for the north side out of the Southwest Light Rail Project. And as such, uh, we went and surveyed 500, uh, or nearly 500 people out of the North Minneapolis community to find out just exactly what areas uh, needed to be improved on. Um, and what we found um, was that there needs to be more shelters, there needs to be lower fares, um, and there needs to be heaters. That was the overall general consensus. Um, and we have yet to see that commitment. She uh, has since said that 74% of uh, the shelters that they originally committed to are going to be built um, and this to us is unacceptable. We need 100% of those uh, shelters to be built. You know, the Southwest Light Rail Line is an important transit connection, but it bypasses our city's neighborhoods. And for this system to work for Minneapolis residents and not just for suburban commuters, we need safe, dignified and efficient transit connections. And so we are here in full support of the asks that are coming today from the transit riders. Well, you know, this train was the um, unfortunate, had the unfortunate timing of be, uh, starting under the Bush era transit formulas that really emphasized suburban commuting. And so, and, and the alignment wasn't changed after the Obama administration changed their criteria. I'm Representative Raymond Dean. I represent downtown Minneapolis as well as the southern part of North Minneapolis. And if there's any evidence of two areas that are treated differently, all you have to do is look at that. Uh, a lot has been said about the issues around equity in North Minneapolis. I believe it's, I'm not going to repeat what was said, but I, I think it's time that we look at those communities that are underserved and we bring service to them. Yeah. It's only the right thing to do. It's not just that it's reasonable, it's the right thing to do. And uh, you all have my support at the Capitol and we'll continue to work on this, so thank you. Uh, the Convention Center. Okay. And, and after this I take this to where my car is in a parking ramp and hop in my car and drive home. What do you think of the bikes? I think they're great. I mean, I, I have an annual subscription. It's, <laughs> it's so much easier than walking six blocks. Yeah. <laughs>